Alright, title of this video is Yip Man vs. Spider-Man. Alright, this is what I'm thinking about. I feel that what they do is they use Yip Man the way that they're doing it is almost like it's a fantasy figure like a Spider-Man, a Batman, Superman. Like it's not real. You know, like the less you know about somebody's life the more you could come up with some outrageous things to make it seem as if this person is extraordinarily great in what they do when in reality they're probably nobody special you know so as far as what I know I know nothing about Yip Man's history I know nothing about his life I know nothing about what he could do or what he was capable of doing how talented he was or anything you know I don't know anything about him and to me I don't like to look up to people that I don't know you know I don't like to look up to people that essentially that are not real I like to admire people that are real where you could see what they could do they've proven themselves over and over again or they just not just prove themselves, not necessarily prove themselves like in a sport, but just express themselves in a, as an artist. And then you just, you see the art, you appreciate the art, and then you respect the person. You know, like Tupac gave my respect from his artistic creativity and his talents, for example. Michael Jordan gave my respect from his extraordinary abilities in the basketball court. Muhammad Ali gained my respect from his abilities in the boxing ring. You know, Bruce Lee gained my respect from his artistic expression in the movies. You know, but Yip Man, he did absolutely nothing to gain my respect at all. You know, and I don't have respect for him. You know, because I don't know anything about him. You know, I think that Hollywood does a really great job with just banking off of people's names, creating all these fantasy figures. To me, there's a huge difference between a Bruce Lee and like a Spider-Man. Anybody could play Spider-Man. They're having all these random people playing Spider-Man, all these random play people playing Batman, all these random people playing Superman. You know, all it is is just a person that puts on a mask. That's all it is. And then you just come up with all these different fantasies and storylines. And it's not real. It's a comic book. And I've never, I've never been into comics like that. I'm more into reality and what people could actually do in real life. You know, like, like what Michael Jordan was doing in the basketball court. That, to me, is amazing. You know, Tupac, you know, rapping is amazing doing his thing Bruce Lee doing his thing you know what I mean like this is real talent this is not Batman this is not Spider-Man this is not computer graphics this is not technology fantasy you know if I want to look into fantasy then I'll look into fantasy knowing that it's a it's a it's a fantasy like X-Men I like I started to like the series, but I know it's just fake. I know it's just these people are just actors, <clears throat> but I'm not really into that too much. I'm more into who are great artists, who are great athletes, not just people <clears throat> that are great actors, but people that are really talented in what they do. I mean... Acting is a skill in itself, but I'm not really that drawn to actors. I'm more drawn to great athletes, great artists. You know, and you talk about Yip Man. I think that Hollywood is just doing what, whatever they can to make money off of that name. And it's no different than Spider-Man to me. You know, Spider-Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just keep making the millions every single, with any, every single sequel. 
no matter what storyline that you come up with. And it's the same thing that's happening with the Yip Man, where it's like Yip Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, as much money that can be milked from his name, let's milk it to come up with as many stories as we can. And people that are looking up to Yip Man, to me, is as silly as looking up to Superman or Spider-Man. These people don't exist. The talents are not real. You know, <clears throat> I mean, even Jackie Chan, I'm not a f fan of him much, but even him, with, you know, he was doing his own stunts. That's really him in there doing his thing. You know, Jet Li was really, really talented. I mean, he went to the Olympics, won gold medals, and that's him doing his martial arts. I respect that. You know, but I don't respect Yip Man because... He didn't do anything. It's just a name. He's just milking off. I mean, first of all, he's not even making money. It's Hollywood that's making the money. Everybody that's involved, they know nothing about Yip Man. They don't care about Yip Man. They just want to make money off of his name. Yip Man ain't no money out of it. And Bruce, same thing, even with Bruce Lee, is like, they're making all these movies of Bruce Lee, but then he doesn't get any of the money. He's dead. Everybody else is making money off of his name. But his talent was real, as far as I'm concerned. You know, <clears throat> I mean, even Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, like, okay, there's, there's the Spider-Man, the Superman, all that stuff, right? Anybody could just put on a mask and be like, oh, I'm Spider-Man, oh, I'm Superman. But Arnold Schwarzenegger really did put in all that time in the gym to be, you know, Mr. Olympia for like seven years. <clears throat> Seven-time champion or something like that. So he really did get to that level. You know, but, if, if, you know, of course he was on steroids on top of that. You know, so... <clears throat> I am more about reality real artists I'm not the, the comic book type of person who's just looking at fantasies to admire you know it's like it's like a person that's pretending in the movie that he's great in basketball but then you know this person is not like a Michael Jordan this person is just considered great in basketball because it's a movie and he's the star and every shot goes in okay the fantasy is this you know there's, there's a basketball player in this movie that never misses he makes every single shot okay you know that's not real like what's the point of looking up to something like that it's the same thing to me with Yip Man it's like this person doesn't even exist you having them beating up 50 people all at once, 100 people all at once. But who who is Yip Man? Like, where is the real proof of this person doing anything? You know, expressing any talent. You know, but when you got like Tupac, you know, you can, you can see him, you can hear him rap. You know, okay, this person is talented. Or even an Eminem. You know, you see him rap, you hear him, listen to his music. You know, this is real. This is a real artist here. Bruce Lee in his movies, the only stunt doubles he had was for the flips and stuff. But everything else, the choreographed fight scenes and all that stuff was all him. This is like real talent right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I admire. But... It's like, as time passes, we get less and less of that. All we get is just a bunch of people, like, pretending. You know, let's hire a stunt double for this person. You know, um, let's have the computer do all the work. Like, where's the talent? You know, where's the skill? It's like, oh, we're just going to have this person star in the movie because he's popular. Not because he's really talented and skilled in, in what he does, but we're just going to have him star in there because he's popular. And he has a lot of friends. 
and his money is going to make a lot of money because his friends are going to go watch the movie. You know what I mean? Like, You know, that, that's, that, that to me is just really annoying to me, you know, like, you know, I don't know. I just think it's really silly to follow people that don't exist or their talents have not even been expressed and proven to you, but then you're still following them. That doesn't make sense to me. Because, I mean, I feel like when people are looking up to X, you know, like X-Men, Spider-Man, Batman, to me that's childish. That's like their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers. That's all the same thing. Yip Man, that's all the same thing to me. It's all like children. Like for it's children. It's like this stuff is not real. Like this is just childish. But when you're looking up to, like, a Martin Luther King Jr., he's like a real person. This is his real intelligence, wisdom. Malcolm X, real intelligence, real wisdom. Albert Einstein, real intelligence. Bruce Lee, real talent, real martial artist. Michael Jordan, a real basketball player. Vincent Van Gogh, a real painter. Like, that makes sense to me. Like, looking up to people that are real, expressing their real talents. Not some fantasy X-Men, Spider-Man, Batman. You know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm, I'm never into that stuff. I mean, to me, it's just childish. You know, and I, I also don't see a point in striving after something that's not even possible. At least when you see, like, Usain Bolt... He's really running 100 meters in this under 10 seconds. You know, okay, this person is real. He actually really did this. Let me try to, to do that or do better than that. But to just imagine, oh, you know, Spider-Man could do the mile in three seconds. Or like run the 100 meter dash in one second. Let's be like Spider-Man. To me, it's just like, really? Really? Like, are you that ignorant? That's the same thing to me when people looking up to Yip Man. Well, they know nothing about him. Oh, you know, he, he, he could beat up a hundred people all at once. He could beat up everybody with one finger. I mean, that to me is just so out outrageously ignorant. You know, I can understand a little small five-year-old looking up to people like that. But I don't understand full-grown adults looking up to fantasy figures that don't exist. I don't understand, you know, if a fully grown adult is saying, Oh, you know, my hero is um, Yip Man. Oh, my hero is um, Spider-Man. Like, your hero should be maybe your father. You know what I'm saying? Or, or somebody living... That's actually right before your eyes doing something that's amazing that you want to aspire to. That, to me, makes sense. But not just looking up to fantasy figures that just do not exist. To me, that's extremely childish. You know, even a Floyd Mayweather Jr., this is not a fantasy. He's really outboxing these people in the boxing ring. He's really, really talented in what he does. I respect that. That's a real person. But once again, I do not understand this whole, like, say, Yip Man thing. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody's like, oh, saying, oh, I practice Win Chun. And my, my, ma you know, my, ma my master is Yip Man. Like, I don't know. I, I really don't get it. I really, really don't get it. I think that is very childish. Bruce Lee, I could understand because he proved himself. Not just necessary, like I said, it's not necessarily proving yourself because as an artist, you don't need to prove yourself. But he expressed himself. You see it. 
and you know it's real. You know? But Yip Man, Wing Chun, to me, that's not real. It has nothing to do with me. They existed in China, in another country, of which I never even visited. <clears throat> I don't know nothing about these people. But then there's all these movies coming out. Oh, Yip Man, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, Yip Man's fighting Mike Tyson now. How could Yip Man fight Mike Tyson when Yip Man is dead? You know, obviously, that is not real. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... <clears throat> It's just a storyline. Like, to me, I could see it for what it is. If it is what it is, it's fantasy, just straight fantasy, then okay, whatever. But don't try to mix in fantasy with reality and make it seem as if this person is somehow great at what he did, when in actuality, the truth is probably the opposite. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what I'm saying. Like Matrix, for example. I love that movie. But I know not to mistakenly believe that Keanu Reeves is like the ultimate martial artist that ever existed. I mean, I know that. And I know Lawrence Fishburne or whoever played that role, Morpheus, is not like, oh my god, like... The best martial artist to ever live, and I'm gonna follow his way of fighting because I, because he's the man. Like that's kind of what I think is ha happening with this Yip Man Wing Chun thing. It's like you got a bunch of people claiming Wing Chun, bowing down to Yip Man and Wing Chun, of whom nobody even knows anything about them. You know what I mean? And it's just a bunch of nonsense. And that's what they do. That's what they did with religion too. Oh, Jesus walked on water. Oh, Jesus healed the blind. Oh, Jesus, re you know, resurrected a man from, from the grave. Jesus was born from a woman that was a virgin. I mean, it's just like, you just keep coming up with all this stuff. And then now you got all these people following somebody of which nothing has been proven or, 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 or scientifically, ex you know, proven or expressed artistically through some sort of Recorded media or something like that. I mean, we got so many talented people that are living right now and that have just maybe just recently passed away to look up to. I just do not see a point in looking up to people that don't even exist or where stories are outright lies about their lives. In which to over over dramatize the facts of their life. Basically, they're just lying to you. You know, like when I'm watching X Men, I know okay, this is comic book. This stuff is not real. It's just for entertainment. Spider Man, Batman, whatever, all that. But this whole Yip Man thing. Yip Man series. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is Bruce Lee's master. And since because he was Bruce Lee's master, that means he was better than Bruce Lee. And since he was better than Bruce Lee, then it might mean that, you know, instead of doing a one inch punch, he could do a half inch punch. Instead of doing a two finger push up, he could do a one finger push up. Bruce Lee could beat up 20 people at a time. So Yip Man, he must be able to beat up 40 people at a time. Bruce Lee was lightning fast, so Yip Man must have been lightning, lightning fast. I mean, it's just like a bunch of nonsense. It's just 
so ridiculous, so childish, and so much exploited for profit that it is sad. Because you know Hollywood doesn't give a damn about the Chinese people. Doesn't give a damn about Yip Man, Bruce Lee, whatever. They want to make money. So if they're going to use, if they could use Chinese people to make money, that's what they're concerned about. They don't want to make money and then give it to the Chinese people. They want to make money off the Chinese people. So if they could come up with some mystical storyline about some person that doesn't even exist to make money off of him so they can keep the money for themselves and that's what they're going to do. But, I don't know. That's the way I see it. You know, I don't have a problem following somebody, but I want to follow somebody that's worth following. Somebody that's real. You know what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, Yip Man is not real to me. Wind Chun is not real to me. All the people that are following Wind Chun, they're better off following Ronda Rousey. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least you could see her, what she was capable of doing, and then you actually see her getting knocked out. And if you still want to follow her after she gets knocked out, that's up to you. But at least that's a real person there. But this whole Win Chun thing, all these people following Win Chun, of which they never seen a photo of her, they never seen a video of her, never seen her spar, never seen her in a movie, never seen her fight. You don't know nothing about her. But yet you're following her. That to me does not make sense. It really does not make sense to me. I'm more about following living masters or following masters of whom existed where their abilities, their talents, their intelligence or whatever, their art has been documented and then you could see it and you could appreciate it. Okay, Vincent Van Gogh died a long time ago, but at least I could get access to his paintings or I could see what he was able to create and in order to appreciate it, in order to admire him. John Lennon passed away, Michael Jackson passed away, but their art is there. You could appreciate it, you could see it, you could hear it. And then you can admire it. But Yip Man, Win Chun, I don't see anything at all. But I do see Bruce Lee. But I don't see no Win Chun. I don't see no Yip Man. I do see Bruce Lee though. So I could see. That he's worth following. Mayweather's worth following. Pacquiao's worth following. Michael Jordan's worth following. Tupac is worth following. Osho's worth following. I don't know, that's what makes sense to me. You know? That's what makes sense to me. I'm just more about the real. Not the fake. Because even the people that reach a high level, but then they're secretly on steroids and then they don't want to no let anybody know about it, I don't respect that. I don't respect that at all. Even the people like Arnold Schwarzenegger who admits that he's on steroids. I don't respect that either. Because what's, what's real? Was it you or the steroids that accomplished this great thing that you wanted to accomplish? 
Usain Bolt, I respect him, but if 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 we find out that he was on steroids, I don't respect that either. Lance Armstrong, I don't respect that. Lying to the whole world, taking testosterone, taking all these drugs that are illegal in order to, to win. I don't respect that. I don't respect cheaters. I don't respect the liars. I don't respect these fantasy figures of which do not exist. I respect the real artists, the real athletes, the real hard workers out there in this world. I respect those people. And those are the individuals that I want to learn from, that I want to admire and use as an example towards my own growth. But to me, to look up to a Spider-Man, a Batman, X-Man, Yip Man, Yip Man, okay, that's the next Superman, right? It's always some type of superhero, right? That to me is just completely childish. And I refuse to be a child. I'm old enough, I'm intelligent enough to follow people that are worth following. Not to be deceived. You know what I'm saying? And even for these people using stunt doubles. Or whatever. You got somebody that can't do martial arts. So they hire a stunt double to do it for him. So then actually maybe if we're... If we are impressed by the martial art that this, that's displayed. That we shouldn't be following the name of whom they are promoting... But actually, we were supposed to be following the, the stunt double, but we don't even know who that person is. But this world is getting filled up with more and more fake shit. That's why you see all this. Every damn movie that comes out is all about comic books. Iron Man, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, X-Men. Yip man. Avengers. Kung Fu Panda. Power Rangers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's like fantasy. This world's all about fantasy. But honestly, I don't give a damn about fantasy. I'm about reality. You know? Like real artists. Tupac, John Lennon, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Like Eminem. Like real artists. Real athletes. I mean, I even admire the acting skills. Denzel Washington. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. I'm about real stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I look up to. Not this fantasy stuff. I mean, that ended, I think, at five years old. That ended when I, when I discovered that Santa Claus doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Like, or maybe not even looking up to these people, these so-called role models. What about people in your own life? You know, your father, your great-grandfather your mother, your best friend, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your wife, your children. Even, it, it even makes more sense to look up to animals. To just observe the animals and just admire their power. Like the lion, like the tiger. The gorilla, the elephant, 
that to me even look makes more sense because these are, these are actually living creatures. These are living things. You can see it right there. You can see their power, their strength, their courage, their fearlessness. That makes even more sense than looking up to Yip Man, Spider Man, Batman. It really doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. You know what I mean? That's all I wanted to say.